Well guys, Season 9 of Death Battle is almost over. It's been one of the like most consistently good years like in recent memory, and pretty much every episode has either been a banger or a okay episode that still is held on to by some key factors. Even really bad ones like freaking Jason vs. Michael are still pretty good. But all good things come to an end, I guess. And right after Deku vs. Asta, we'll be seeing the season finale of Season 9. God, I just said season twice. That sounds stupid. Anyway, there have been a lot of predictions as to what that finale is. A lot of them more accurate than others, and a lot of them pretty wild in terms of scale or characters they use. And today I'm going to give my crack at it. Now, I'm not going to cover too many since I'm not really that, like, knowledgeable in this sense. But, hey, I gotta start making videos other than stomps and death battle trailers. But let's get into it. I'm round one fight, and this is my prediction for the season finale of Death Battle Season 9. Freaking heck, I just said season again. Frick. So, to start off, we'll talk about one of the main types of franchises and media that I think has a pretty good chance. And starting off it is cartoons. We haven't had many cartoon fights this year, so it's possible that one could be next. Same with video games. Like, seriously, we've only gotten two characters related to cartoons this year, and both are in the same episode. Like, that's crazy. If it's a cartoon-only fight, like no cartoons gets anybody else, then I think the best bet would be a comedy aspect, as a lot of the more serious tone shows, at least how they tone themselves, like Finn and Jake versus Mordecai and Rigby, were mentioned in that Champions poll, and the crew expects interest in doing it, and didn't shy away from it, making it questionable if they're either playing along, or just they actually want to bring him to the show. And because of that, I don't think they have a very good chance of showing up here anyway. Which is a bit of a soft hint that they don't have a plan. That said, if the intent is a really funny yet wide spectacle bout in order to shy away from a really, like, oh, empowering hero crap moment, then two options stand out to me as really funny things that could work as finale. Those being Daffy Duck vs. Donald Duck and Homer Simpson vs. Peter Griffin. Both are massively popular in the community, even after so many years of us not getting it, and neither are held by the same restrictions Bugs vs. Mickey is, that being Disney's copyright law, and neither one is really, like, held back in that same way. They also, despite the comedy aspect, are worthy of being a finale and work as a sprite slash hand-drawn fight and will draw in a bunch of viewers, which falls in line with that statement that they said that the SFM team only has a few more fights planned. Uh, I mean, granted, they could hire Devil Artemis again, though it's a bit, bit unlikely. Um, personally, if it really is out-of-the-pocket humor that they're going for, I think Daffy vs. Donald is a bit better for that. Video games. There isn't really any that could happen that instantly strike me as a finale. Like, all the most requested video game matchups right now are either kind of deconfirmed for the moment, like Alex versus Cole, at least until the Champions Bowl happens and that inevitably wins even though I want something like Lightyear versus Walter to win. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen. So there isn't really any right now that strike me as, you know, big finale like, say, Mario versus Sonic would. Still, unlike the last one, a game finale would have to be pretty grandiose to make it as the season closer. It, it just makes sense. And no choice makes a lot of sense except for one. Bowser versus Dr. Eggman. Not only does this fall in close proximity to Mario's movie and Sonic's new game, which I think was originally going to release around the finale anyway, this also makes sense because we haven't really gotten any, you know, really big game franchises this year. Sure, League of Legends, Metal Gear, and World of Warcraft are pretty big, but not in the same way that, like, Mortal Kombat or Mario or uh, Street Fighter is. And they're really not that good for getting views in the same way those franchises are, so it makes sense that they would do a big video game franchise if they were to bring one. Granted, they could have just not planned many this year, but the cards played make this one a decent pick. 
This is probably the biggest villain rivalry and Mario versus Sonic rivalry that they have left to do. And it's easily finale material with all their powers, gadgets, and tools, let alone massive backstories and worlds. So, yeah, I think this one has a pretty good, decent chance of getting in. Anime. I doubt that the next episode will have an anime character, given, you know, Deku vs. Asta happening right there. But there is one possible option for an anime character that I will get to later. Movies. Movies are a pretty underused thing in Versus anyway, and no big matches around, at least to my knowledge, that works for a finale in that way or could work in Sprite or Hand Drawn. If they went the Christmas route or something, I could easily see them doing, like, Jack Skellington vs. The Grinch, or maybe even DC Santa vs. Marvel Santa. But it looks more and more likely they'll go with my last option, which is probably the most likely. Comics. Okay, okay, I'll admit it is a little annoying to see comics all now and again, but you have to admit it is a little weird what they've been doing with the second half. Granted, they are pretty controversial right now, given the hell of 2020 in more ways than one, but it is a bit odd that we've only gotten two Marvel or DC episodes in the second half, one technically being a cartoon character and not really even counting. So this makes sense more than almost anything else besides cartoons and games, which actually works in the favor of two really big ideas. One of them being, well, let's just address the green, yellow, red, pink, and every other lantern color out there elephant in the room. Kyle Rayner versus Simon the Digger. Now, this is possible and would fit the whole new series thing, but to me this is becoming more and more iffy for a finale. Marvel hasn't gotten an episode since Black Adam vs. Apocalypse over a few months ago, and leaving them out in favor of the third DC vs. non-Marvel franchise, if you count Aquaman, is weird in and of itself. But having an anime character right after two of the biggest right now fight is even stranger. Plus, the penultimate episode is usually pretty different from the finale, at least in an atonal way, like in recent years. Season 5 had like a godly battle of evil in the, as Darkseid vs. Thanos, and before it was Roshi vs. Jiraiya. Season 6 had the comedy fight of two anti-heroes, and then two heroes vastly popular known for their strength. Season 7 had anime fighters, and then a rage-fueled universe-destroying clash. And 8 had two of anime's biggest villains known for being master manipulators and, you know, galaxy brain chess players, and then a comedic yet awesome cartoon vs. anime clash that nobody saw coming. So following up a hero vs. hero match with another that also has anime and another DC character just feels off to me. Granted, this does have a really good chance to be a finale and might even be this year's, but I just don't really see it. And before we get to my pick for the finale, let's talk about all the options. Closing arguments and my number one pick. The cartoon and game options both can work as finales and so can Kyle vs. Simon, but all have a few problems that screw them over that my main pick doesn't. See, the cartoon options can work as finales, but if you take the wrong direction with them, you just turn it into Deadpool vs. Pinkie Pie all over again, and I don't think any of us want that. And with the cartoon finale, I don't think they do like a really wacky one like Popeye's episode, which was just the last finale. So following up a finale with cartoons with another one is a bit unlikely. Um, and besides, both Daffy vs. Donald and Peter vs. Homer work better out of finale anyway. The game one is definitely possible, but it wouldn't exactly overshadow my main pick or Simone vs. Kyle in hype. It's still pretty hype, but picking Simone vs. Kyle or my number one seems more likely to draw in viewers and close the year out with a bang. So, we have an episode that is likely unlike Deku vs. Asta in tonal shifts, meaning it can't really be a hero fight or an anime fight, a need for cartoons or video games, and not too much of one for an anime episode and on DC. Well, I can only think of one option. Galactus vs. Unicron. This is pretty self-explanatory why it's here. Pretty much every year since ever has had people predict this one, and for pretty good reason. This episode has been their most requested fight since Goku vs. Superman, and even if it's not this year, it's going to be a finale someday regardless. 
This also checks a lot of the boxes of why it could be here. It has a cartoon series that's really popular and relatively new, all things considered, that they haven't touched for years since Optimus and years before that was Starscream. And it's a pretty good magnet for views, especially considering it's Unicron, one of the biggest bads of the whole series. It also flips the total side completely like a lot of finales do, and this isn't DC or anime, but it is Marvel, which has been pretty absent this half, and this could be why. Ben also said in Sauron vs. the Lich King's commentary that it would be really big this year, and you can't get much bigger than this. The sheer amount of powers, feats of destruction, and magnitude these two bring is more than capable of the finale. But its biggest factor that works in its favor is that Death Battle tends to do the unexpected for a finale, at least in a sense. As far as I remember, nobody expected All Might vs. My Guy, and Hulk vs. Broly came out of nowhere aside from that teaser from Batgirl vs. Spider-Gwen. And we all know how Saitama vs. Popeye came out of freaking nowhere. Actually, a lot of people expected that Galactus vs. Unicron. <laughs> that last one even making a lot of people lose hope in Galactus vs. Unicron happening until, like, Season 10. That actually could work in this matchup's favor because it makes it unpredictable in the sense that people have gotten a little tired of waiting for it. So, a lot of them were burned out and picked stuff like CMO vs. Kyle. And because of the tiredness of Galactus vs. Unicorn never showing up, that makes it an unpredictable choice for this finale, and they live for those. And overall, while there are a lot of options, I think Galactus vs. Unicron is the most likely to be the finale of Season 9 of Death Battle. Unless the new Joe Masashi vs. Strider Hero. Do guys no balls.